Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 7 for the Xara Web Designer 7 Premium Software. In this tutorial, we'll be going over the Bevel tool. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. Alright, let's get started. Let's choose one of the quick shapes from the toolbar. In this case, I'll be choosing the rectangle tool. Although you can use either the circle or the star tool as well. But I'm going to use the rectangle, so go ahead and select which quick shape you prefer and draw it on the screen. Once you draw your quick shape, go ahead and select the bevel tool. It looks like a square with little notches on each side. If you don't see that, you may have to place your cursor over this mode looking tool like for example if that was shown first then you would place your cursor over it and select the bevel tool left click that once you select the bevel tool you'll see that there's red arrows around your quick shape and you can click any of these quick shape quick shape arrows and drag out so there should be you know three on each side so three this way three down three at the bottom three on this side and if I wanted to increase the size I would left click on the arrow and drag outward while holding the left click mouse and you'll see that there's a red box around this quick shape and the further you drag out the bigger it is so this will create a really big bevel and if you let go you see it made a really big bevel now if I left click one of these arrows and drag towards the center while holding the left click mouse button it'll make it smaller so that's how you resize the bevel on a, a quick shape now this isn't the only type of bevel there is there's many types of bevels that you could choose from so if you go to the info bar the first drop down menu lets you change the bevel type so let's change it to rounded and now it's a rounded bevel type and you probably can barely see that so let's go to maybe chiseled option for the bevel type now you'll see this kind of a, a sharp um, bevel on this quick shape so you can kind of play around and see which bevel type you like the most in this first option in the info bar I like the point frame 3 so I'm going to use that one but any bevel type is okay and before you go forward even when you change the bevel type you still can resize it as you notice there's still red arrows and if you left click and drag outward it'll make it bigger or if you drag inward it'll make it smaller now let's go to the next drop down menu in the info bar the slider type if we left, left click on that we're going to choose size in this case and when you change that to size it has a direct relationship with the slider that's right next to it so now when you increase this slider to the right it'll make the bevel bigger you know, if you push it to the left it'll make it smaller and the very next box in the info bar allows you to put in a specific numerical value in this case pixels so if we put you know 50 pixels it'll make a 50 pixel bevel size now let's go ahead and go back to slider type again and this time let's choose contrast and when we change that to contrast in the info bar now the slider has a direct relationship with contrast so if we push all the way to 100 percent it'll change it and if we push it all the way to zero percent it'll make the contrast really low so you can kind of play around with the slider to see what value you like the most I'm only bringing it from 0% to 100 just show that it's actually changing because it's a very slight change and uh, again if you wanted to you could enter, enter in a specific percentage for the contrast if you wanted to put 0% you could just type 0 hit enter and it would move the slider to 0% let's go back to the slider type here in the info bar and click the left click mouse button to bring in the drop down menu and click on light angle and now that we change the slider type to light angle it has a direct relationship with this slider and so if we drag it to the left it'll try it'll change the light angle as we drag it so drag to the right it'll change it 
you know and this is more noticeable as we change the light angle you'll see that the dark and light spots on the bevel changes and again if you wanted to you can enter in a specific degree angle in this next box next to the the slider so if I want to do 40 degrees it would make a 40 degree light angle let's go back to the slider type again left click it and you'll see the option for light elevation and now this slider right next to it will have a direct relationship with light elevation so if we increase that it raises the light elevation if we lower it it lowers the light elevation so depending on where you place the slider it's going to adjust the light elevation and again you can enter in a specific um, numerical value on this box now that you got a good idea of how to use those things we're going to move on to inner and outer bevels and if you're in an info bar still you'll see that the next option is outer bevel and inner bevel and the way that you know the difference between these two is the outer bevel has arrows pointing outward and the inner bevel has has arrows pointing inward in this case we're going to change it to inner bevel since we have it set to outer bevel already left click that option in the info bar and once you click that you'll notice that it goes to the original size of the square that we drew or whatever quick shape you drew in, in your case and the way I can prove that is if we go to the info bar into the bevel type and choose none this is the original size that I chose for my quick shape and the bevel was inside of that quick shape at this very size so anytime you do an inner, inner bevel it will keep the same size of the original quick shape you drew so let's go ahead and go back to our info bar and choose you know point frame 3 or whichever bevel that you had in your case and you'll notice that with the bevel it's still the same size of that original quick shape now let's go ahead and set the 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 bevel to outer the outer bevel in the info bar up here left click that and you have to have it to outer bevel because what we're about to do next is we're about to modify the joint type and the joint type are these three options over here in your info bar so you can pick either three of these options to adjust your your bevel join so remember anytime you want to adjust the adjust the bevel join always have the the bevel type set to outer bevel so if we choose rounded join, we'll not have a rounded bevel for this quick shape. And if we choose the next one for bevel join, we'll now kind of have a kind of a polygon or hexagon type of bevel join. So, and you can uh, you can apply this also to a star if we had a star quick shape or whatever the other quick shape that you choose to choose now there is one scenario where the bevel joint type will not affect the quick shape other than you know it being set to inner bevel type and I'm going to demonstrate that go ahead and select your selection tool in your toolbar and delete your uh, bevel that we've created or delete the object that you have on the the workspace you have and go to your quick shapes and go to circle and draw a circle, it doesn't matter if it's perfect circle or not. Go to your bevel tool, select it, and drag outward on one of the arrows to make your bevel type. And then go to and go to well first you'll notice that we have outer bevel selected. If you don't select that, and go to your join types in the info bar, and you can click on any of them, and you'll notice that your bevel join type doesn't change. That's because this is a perfect circle so the only time that the bevel join type will not work is if you have a circle and to prove that let's go ahead and make a star but first let's delete this this bevel that we just created by selecting the selection tool and then hitting delete go to your quick shapes and you're gonna draw a star this time draw your star and I'm gonna move my star over a little bit actually and we're gonna go to the bevel type and select that bevel tool again and we're going to drag outward and create kind of a bevel for the star and then go to your join types in the info bar let's change it to rounded you know notice now we have a rounded bevel type so as you can see it works 
if we change to any of these bevel joint types with the exception of the circle quick shape. So I hope that gave you a great overview of how to use the bevel tool. If not, feel free to send me a question on YouTube and I'll do my best to answer it. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube videos if we helped you out. And if you think the video was excellent, give us a thumbs up because we, we always appreciate thumbs ups for, for our videos if you think we did a great job of teaching you how to use a Pacific tool within Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. Uh, but before we go, I'm going to also show you some cool things that I've done with the bevel tool. Let's go ahead and show you that. I created kind of an iPod with the bevel tool. Looks a lot like the iPod. It's very close in design. Almost identical. You know, it's not perfect to scale, but it's close enough. I just wanted to show you the value and power of using the bevel tool and that it, you know, it could definitely help you in building things to make your website stand out, such as drawing, you know, an item or creating an icon. And to show you that this was made with the bevel tool, I'm going to actually break it apart. I'm going to take the layers apart, move the transparency layer, move the screen, and now we have the rectangle that I created to make the bevel. And to show you that this is a bevel, I'm going to select the bevel tool and I'm going to increase it. And you'll see that, hey, this looks a lot like what we were just playing with, the bevel tool. So I'm going to undo that and put it back together and show you, hey, it's pretty cool that you can make things like an iPod using something as simple as the bevel tool. And a few other things that we learned in some other tutorials I, I used to create this as well. But yeah, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please take a visit to our website at exartemplate.com. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you think the video was great in helping you to learn how to use Xara Web Designer 7 Premium.